Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to Under the Dome. Now, last time we left off, we ended up completing everything we needed and obtained this old looking golden pickaxe. Now, it is to be used to break stained glass. So, um, he told us to meet him down uh, by Chandel Street, the old sheriff here, and we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, um... I did record this a little bit earlier and it turns out the map did glitch out because I am using, I was using an outdated version of uh, the map here. It was buggy and glitchy and everything so um, when I did everything I needed to do over here it ended up breaking and nothing happened so I ended up getting the fixed version of the map as you can see he is over there now and um, there were no more glitches so if you're having problems like I had with Raja at the start and then um, the trader over here, your version of the map is l most likely uh, the glitchy, bugged version as well. They did release an updated version on the 30th of, of November, so I guess I must have had this longer than I thought. Yo, what's up, dog? Hey, dog. Alright, let's go and break this now. Look, it worked. Oh, God. Whoa. More of the zombies. Huh? Quick kill them, then get some wood from the forest by the dairy bar to patch this hole up. We can't let them in. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, there's so many of them. Stop. Don't convert the sheriff. Leave him alone. Oh, I don't think they can. I think he's protected by a barrier. Same with old Tyrone over here. That's right, though. Tyrone can probably take a zombie or two. Did they say get wood from out here? I did not hear them very well. Ah! I can't go out there. <laughs> I wanted to go over there and check it out. I can't go over there though. What in the world? What do you say? Quick kill them. Get some wood from the forest by the dairy bar. Okay. Why do I need to go to the dairy bar? You know, maybe this dome was put here to protect us. <gasps> maybe there's a zombie apocalypse and we're the only people alive still. Who would have thought? What a twist of events. Alright, well, off to the dairy bar forest here then. I don't know how to get to the forest, but... Is there like a, a back door or something we can take? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So let's go do that. Let's go take care of that business right now. It was really cool going through and uh, playing this map when it wasn't bugged out, too. Uh, I actually got to see what happens when you uh, kill Raja and uh, when you collect the treasure. It's pretty awesome. You get like 64 emeralds for killing Raja. You immediately lose them all and the diamond sword. That is why I am reduced to a wooden sword in case you're wondering. But um, How am I supposed to break this if I'm in adventure mode? Is there an axe somewhere in this forest maybe? Oh. This is the only acacia tree located in Chester's Mill. Oh, look at that. He gave I guess he gave me an axe. Okay. Um Can't break that. I guess I have to grab regular wood then. I don't know how much wood he wants me to get, but <laughs> I guess I'll grab uh two trees worth. Okay. Don't worry, Sheriff, I'm coming back. I'll patch that hole. All right, we're making progress here again. This is nice. Hopefully I can finish this map this session. Most likely I will not though. I'll probably have another one of those instances where I'll have like five minutes left in the map and I'll hit my time my time limit. Then I'll have to cut it out for next time. But um, if that is the case, then oh well, we do what we can. Okay, Perfect. you automatically Black took my wood. Now, I need you to check out something. I have reports calling that zombies have been coming out of house number two on St. Robert Street. Hmm. That is what that is what I've been hearing. Is there any sword in here? No. I could really use something better than a wooden sword. Is this house number two? No, no, no. It needs to be on Robert Street. Isn't that what I said? St. Robert Street. Okay. Off to St. Robert Street we go. I'm pretty sure that's just a street over, so it won't be too much of a hassle for us. 
I can't remember where I got that stone sword that I had last time. That would be helpful. I always got to look down because there's so many glass blocks here that it like kind of lags my game out. House number two. Here it is. Do you hear the zombies? I knew I heard zombies in here. Is there anything I can loot? Down there, huh? Not a darned thing. Where's everybody? Oh, good. Final items. Iron shovel, iron axe, and oxygen mask, huh? Okay, well, we'll go ahead and equip that because I got a feeling we're going to need that. Um, we'll throw that on there and iron shovel. Before we go and... Oh, boy. Before we go and duke it out with those guys, let me read this. Page one of two. Number one, sponge. Commonly found at the bottom of lakes, rivers, oceans, etc. Two, blaze rod. You may be able to find one of these items in my old cabin that is in the woods behind the water tower. Acacia wood. There is only one tree found in Chester's Mill. It is located in the woods behind the dairy bar. Find these items and bring them back to me. Quick, I need help. There has been a zombie apocalypse and that is why the dome is around us. The government has tried to protect me as I have almost found the cure, but some of the test subjects have escaped and infected me. I do not have much time left. Read the book found in the chest. Get the three items to find the cure. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let me take this stuff in. I'll well take this, and uh, we got a goofy-looking helmet. There we go. A little bit extra armor there. Help us out a bit more. Um, so I know where the acacia tree is, and I know uh, what he's talking about behind the water tower. So we'll go ahead and go do that. Um, I don't think I need to go talk to sheriff. I knew the zombie apocalypse had to have something to do with this. Who called it, guys? Who called it? I knew it. I called it forthright that the zombie apocalypse is the reasoning behind all this nonsense. All right, so we're going to go behind the water tower here. I don't know if uh, we'll find a better weapon somewhere around here. <laughs> I could really use one. Okay, so here's his house. I believe we did come across this place uh, earlier as well. Previous episodes. Oh, boy. I'm going to need a better weapon if I'm going to battle these guys. Blaze rod. Nice. Okay. So we've got the blaze rod. Nice. Now we need to go find that acacia wood. So we got to go to the dairy bar. What was the other one he needed? Sponge. Bottom of lakes, rivers, oceans, etc. Okay, so... Uh, there is a river, lake thing over here. I'm assuming that's what the shovel's for. Is that the sponge? Over yonder? I believe it is. I am pretty sure that is going to be sponge. Yes, it is. All right. Why would sponge be useful for... I don't understand. I don't get it. How would Sponge be useful for stopping a zombie apocalypse? I may never know. For I'm not a scientist. Okay, so now we have to go over to the dairy bar here and collect that acacia wood. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I'm still a little bit under the weather. Tomorrow I should be 100% though. Lucky me, right? So I'm probably going to end up uploading uh, both this... Uh, episode here and then uh another episode of roomscape because they did get a request from somebody to uh put a part three of that and i learned uh, what i was supposed to do so i'm definitely gonna try and get that put up tomorrow as well as this keep the masses happy okay the there it is over here break that sign Break this tree, break this tree, break this tree. I'm pretty sure I only need one, but let's grab uh, eight pieces to be safe. <laughs> All right. 
next week hopefully I'll have a bit more time to uh, plan out a bunch of extra recordings to start at the beginning of the week and then I'll be able to set up stuff for next week and uh, actually be able to work towards uh, making some really cool looking thumbnails and some cool background music and everything for them that'd be really sweet if I could pull that off okay pretty sure this guy does not have a permit for all this stuff um, we got that and that and that place I three think it is working. Oh, okay Cool. Whoa! We have to get this throughout the world. Ha! <laughs> yeah, we did it! Wow, that was interesting. Oh, listen to his music. Is this Final Fantasy music? I think that's the Victory Fanfare music. Congrats, you have just completed the adventure map Under the Dome, created by DVS Design. For more, check out dvsdesign.ca. All right, so that's the end of the map, guys. Um, where are we at now? Oh, we're outside of the dome. Let's go get a look at just how huge this dome is. My God. This dome is enormous. What in the world? <laughs> golly jeepers. I did just say golly jeepers. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this map then. Uh, really fun, really well put together. Um, if you were having the problems that I was having at the start, I do encourage you to get the uh, updated version of this map. That has uh, all the patches and everything. Everything's all fixed up with it. So, uh, <coughs> hmm. so you won't have to worry about anything like that uh, happening in your game if you download that updated version. But... Um, Guys, that's going to go and do it. I would definitely give this map a solid 4.5 out of 5. Because uh, the only reason I give it a little bit less is because of my first starting experiences. Um, if we're just talking in uh, terms of the updated version of this map, however, I would definitely give it a 5 out of 5 because it was very enjoyable, very well put together. I really liked how they uh, included the voices. Though it is most likely just uh, computer voicing, but um, it was still really cool. I enjoyed it quite a lot. So, um, guys, it's going to go and do it for this. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, really shows your support and really helps me out a lot right now. Um, leave a comment as well. Give me some feedback. And uh, let me know if there's any maps you guys want me to play. I'm always uh, open to playing new maps if uh, you guys request them. Other than that, I'm just kind of uh, looking at the most recent maps on Minecraft maps and just playing through those. So if you have a map you want me to play, go and let me know, and I'd be more than happy to get that going for you guys. And uh, more than anything, if you want to help out even more, I'd very much encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton, and doesn't hurt you much at all. The most you'll see is like a video or two a day for me on your uh, homepage, which you don't even have to watch. So it doesn't hurt you that much at all, and um, <laughs> helps me out a lot, I guess I should say. But um. <coughs> but uh yeah guys that's gonna go and do it for this uh map here uh my name is don and i'll see you later